I want to send my best wishes to everyone here taking part in Pride in London, especially all those volunteers who make it possible. Since I recorded last year's message, there has been one huge historic change in Britain. The institution of marriage is now open to all, whether you're a man and a man, a woman and a woman, or a woman and a man. Your love for one another is equal in the eyes of the law. Since the Same-Sex Couples Act came into law in March, couples across the country have been demonstrating their love and their commitment by tying the knot. This would not have been possible without the support of so many people who are at Pride today. So thank you. You have made history. I'm immensely proud to be the Prime Minister of the country, which is, and this is official, the best place in Europe to be gay, lesbian, bisexual or transgender. But that doesn't mean our job is done. We cannot be complacent. The theme of this year's Pride is freedom. And I want this to be a country where all children are free from the fear of bullying, where elderly people have the freedom to be who they are, where our sportsmen and women have the freedom to achieve. People like Tom Daly, Claire Harvey, Nicola Adams and Casey Stoney, who proudly represent this country and where no one is at risk of the sickening homophobic attacks that sadly still happen on our streets. And this isn't just about Britain. We are committed to improving LGBT rights right across the world. I've raised my concerns about the treatment of gay people in Russia with President Putin, and the Foreign Office presses the case for positive change right around the world. The values of tolerance, freedom and respect, these are the values that define us in Britain. Not only should we take great pride in them, we should encourage the rest of the world to take our lead.